All right, foodies, today marks the start of a new season in Florida, stone crab season. Eight on your side's Megan Gannon is live at Clearwater Beach this morning. And Megan, the season is looking pretty good so far. Yeah, you know, a really exciting time for all of these fishermen who kind of really rely on this season, Gail. So they're really excited, pumped to get back out on the water. We know some of these boats will be heading out early this morning. You can see the crab traps right over here. And of course, everyone getting ready to go. Now, we're told from FWC, from a research scientist there, that the season's opening catch is expected to be better in most regions than last year, especially after red tide. So we know that Thomas Shook with Frenchy Stone Crab Company also echoing those statements and says that his team is ready to get out onto the water today. He says they have a total of 34,000 traps across the 12 boats that they operate. And over the last 10 days, they've been setting those traps up all the way from Clearwater Beach up to Bayport. Shook says while it is big business for the Bay Area, a majority of his business actually comes from outside the state of Florida. My, my largest markets are Chicago, New York, Cleveland, Ohio, Philadelphia, Las Vegas. So I do take care of my restaurants here locally, but 90% of mine is all shipped out of the state. So it's not huge statewide, it's huge nationwide. Now, Shook also tells me that he is hoping for 10 to 15,000 pounds of stone crab this first week of the season. That's what they are hoping to catch. He also says that they are actually hoping to get some stone crab into some of their restaurants as early as this evening. So they're hoping to have a boat back early enough that they'll be able to get some of that back into the restaurants later on this evening. But of course, we know Wednesday they're saying will be the first full day that they will have stone crab available for those who want to enjoy it. Gail, back over to you. Ah, they're so delicious and a tradition for many of us laying out that paper cloth and going to town. Thank you so much, Megan.